you see this is your boy, your YouTuber, your trader. I don't know which one you can call me. Today I'm here today with the video about on my indices account. Indices account. So I'm going to just gonna show you how I'm trading the indices, the synthetic indices that is through binary. So you can see here I've got um what is this? Okay, so I'm going to show you my trees, my trees, my trees that I take on this indices. So I'm long on the step index. Step index, I took a long position here yesterday. So I'm gonna see how it's gonna go down. Then I'll move on to the next one. Boom 500, boom 500. I got a long position as well. I didn't check it on the, the day before yesterday on Saturday because it was a Sabbath day. So I didn't take that trade, but I take it this following day. So it's moving up nicely according to our strategy. It's moving up nicely. Then we move on to the boom thousand. Boom thousand. I've got two two short trades. Take the first one somewhere here. When was that? Take the first one somewhere here. That was on 22. Then it moves like this. Then I took the other one yesterday. That's 25. So I'm gonna see. I'm expecting a drop to somewhere here. I think it's gonna come in somewhere here for my take profits. As you always know that I don't do take profits. I do mental take profits. I don't do new take profits. I do mental take profits. I just want to the full drop. Then I move on to the next one. Then crash 500. Crash 500. It's moving so nice. It's moving so nice. 500 is moving so nice. As you see here, it's moving very, very nice. I got two trades. One. One, this one, I took it on the 22, and the other one I took it yesterday. Shooting to the moon, shooting to the moon. Then we move on to the next one. It's crash thousand, crash thousand. I don't have any trade. Crash thousand, I don't have any trade. But I'm gonna take a short position today here. So I'm just waiting for two o'clock. Then I'll take my short position here. I think it's gonna drop nicely. We move on to the next one. It's a volatility one x. Volatility one x is in profit. It's in profit, as you can see here. Check it yesterday. It's moving up. Then here I've got a volatility chain one s. Volatility chain one s. I think I'm gonna take a long position here. I'm gonna take a long position here. So I'm just waiting for this daily candlestick to close around two o'clock a.m. Then I will take a long position. Then I've got the uh, HD HF or HF volatility 10 S. I moved to the long to the weekly time frame. Check the weekly time frame. Check, check, check the weekly time frame. So nice. So I didn't work out because I didn't check this. Uh, didn't check the the, 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 the this is on here. This is so, it's almost a, a breakout retest. This one, but I don't know. I'll just stick to my strategy. I'll leave it like that, but I'm gonna get stopped out. But I just wanna develop some discipline. I don't take our I don't move out of this one. I'll just wait for the stop to be hit. Then it's fine. I lost money. That's how it works. It's all about probability, no certainty, risk versus reward. Then you see, but I knew very well that this trade trade was not necessary. Because whenever you're entering a trade, you don't have to take a trade on this long candlestick. This was too much. 
But anyway, let's see how it's gonna play out. Then you move on to which one is this one? HF100 index. I've got a nice short position here. I'm in profit, I took a short position here. I'm gonna take another short position somewhere here because I'm expecting it to come somewhere here. This is where the my TP is gonna be. So I don't put a TP, I'll just leave it like that. Then if it changes the direction, then I'll go out. But if it's keep on do going down, it's fine. And on this trade, I wasn't patient enough. I was emotional on this pen. On this index, I was emotional. I took a short position here, then I get out here. I don't know why I get out. Then I came, I took a long position and then I got stopped out. Then I came here, I took a long position here, then I, here. I don't know what told me to just get out somewhere. I got out here, then I took some money. I took a short position here, then I took another one here. And I, but I knew very well about this this player, this, this breakout here, because you see this candlestick breakout this previous this, this previous uh, zone. So I saw like it's a break a breakout. So it's most a, a retest. So I moved my stop loss to somewhere here. And I took about four or five trades somewhere here. Because when it moved back here, I took another position here, then I took another one here. So I had four, four, four running trades. Then I came here. When it moves back here, I was impatient in enough. Then I closed all my trades and I was like, really? Then I didn't took another short position here. It moved down here. Then on this date, when was this? On, 20, on the 22th of April, that's when I took another short position here. Then I'm, I'm trying to be patient enough to hold it. Then you can see how it's gonna go down. Then I've got this one as well. That's the HF50. HF50, I've got two long trades, two long trades, two long trades. I took on one here, first one here, on 20. Second one, I took it here, but I wasn't patient enough because I saw like this place. It was a sensitive place. So, so if it was a sensitive way, I just got out. Then I moved my stop loss on this first trade. Then it moved up like this. And I was like, it's fine. I didn't do what? I did follow my plan. So it's kind of cool. Then when it moved up, I knew very well it's coming back somewhere here. I took another trade here. Then it moved up. So I have nice two trades which are running in profits. Then move on to volatility, V volatility 10, V10. I took a short position yesterday here. Took a short position here, so I'm gonna see how it's gonna move go there. It's quite nice. I'm already in profit now. Then V25, V25. Yeah, yeah. I think I was too early to take this short trade, but I think my analysis is on point there as well. I'll just leave it like that. If it stops, if it stops me out, it's fine. I lost it, but if it moves back in here, it's fine. I'll make some money. My risk is okay. Then I moved on to HF50. HF50 is well. I took two trades. I made a mistake yesterday. I made a mistake, a blunder. A blunder. I should have taken this if this candlestick the moved inside a little bit inside, like a bearish. Then I should have then that's when I should have taken a second trade because now my risky it's not that bad though, but it's not necessary. That's not how I trade. That's not how I trade. Then move on to V75. V75. V75, I wasn't a little bit uh, patient. I wasn't patient because I took a short position here. Then it moves down here. Then I when it formed this, this candlestick on the 18th of April. I closed it. I thought it was coming back into here, somewhere here. Then the next day, plus like, bzzm, bzzm, and I was like, really? Really? Then I took another short position here. And it, I made another mistake as well. I made another mistake as well. I took a nice short position here. It moved down and made some money. Then it formed this candlestick. And I was like, no, I'm going to lose it. 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 I was like, I closed it. Then it just moved back like this. And it was like, and I was like really? Should have. I could have put down in trades one, two. I should have like something like five trades on this, on this, in this one, on this, in this one. So I took another short position here because of this candlestick. Then another one this year because I saw this is a nice healthy candlestick. The body and the tails are so healthy, they're almost the same size. So that's a healthy candlestick. I took another short position. This is this is the one. Then 
I took another one as well because this one as well is a healthy candlestick. It's a healthy candlestick, so I'm just gonna leave it like that as well. I took another short when it closes here, I took another short position, and as well as broken these zones. You see, these are sensitive areas, sensitive areas, sensitive areas, sensitive areas. So it's sort of a breakout to test because I'm expecting it to come on somewhere here. This is where I'm expecting to come here. This is my TP take profit so i'm gonna see how it's gonna work out and then we move on to the last one that's v100 v100 i was in the, um, i was in the patient enough as well I closed so many trades earlier i took a short position here then it moved down like this then i closed then it moved again as like this i took another short one it moved for the next two days i hold it then on the third day, it formed this candlestick, I closed it. I was like, yesterday when I saw this next candlestick, I was like, okay, you know what? The market is still going down. Let me take another short, short position. Yes. And that is that. That's that for today, guys. This is my video on the indices. Indices, indices. So thank you very much. Hope you like, comment, share. Ask any question that you want to know about the markets, and don't forget to hit the sub button and the notification bell so that whenever I produce a video, you get notification. Then you watch it if you like it, you like it if you unlike it. Just tell me what's the problem with my video, then we we'll improve it. Thank you. See you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, watching. Thank you. Thank you.